Well, she's more commonly thought of in the kitchen, whipping up exceptionally good food. But these days, My Petite Kitchen's Eleanor Ozic is also sharing exceptionally good ways to simplify our lives. She's just put out a new book and she's here to tell us all about it. Welcome, Eleanor. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Uh, this book, all about how the art of simple, is I think well needed for everybody here. Actually, everybody. <laughs> um, so tell us a little bit about it. How did it all come about? Um, so basically, um, about three years or so ago, um, I found myself in a place in my career where I felt really stressed out all the time. And because um, my husband's he owns his own business as well, so we were both just completely run ragged, really stressed out. We have three kids as well, so um, you know, just trying to do too much really. Um, and one day I just had this epiphany, I was like, ah, oh, I've just got to simplify my life, you know? <laughs> and in this book, how do you teach us to simplify our lives? So I've sort of um, designed it to be little, small, easy, po you know, pocketable ideas that you can just open up to and hopefully be inspired at that moment to, you know, do little, little bits at a time because I think that's the key to simplifying, you know, you can't kind of go in and do all of it at once, you just have to do little bits every day. <laughs> yeah, do the one cupboard, yeah. not the whole of the kitchen <laughs> cupboards, because otherwise you get very depressed and you end up rocking in the corner. Yeah. I know this from experience. <laughs> you just one, get easily defeated. <laughs> one at a time, one at a time. Yeah. But there are little, like, little tiny bits in the book, you're right. And uh, was the book, the size of it, was this a... Uh, also part of it, the fact oh, that absolutely. Little... I think if it was sort of a big, you know, big, heavy, complicated book, that would just defeat the purpose, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would be clutter. <laughs> I love the size of it. It's a nice little size just to put next to, you know, on your coffee table or next to your bedside. Okay, the great thing is is that you have a husband and you've got children and I would imagine trying to declutter your life would be quite hard with a huge family. <laughs> yeah. So have they adapted well to it? Oh, absolutely, yeah. And we just have a habit of um, really taking notice of everything that comes into our life and into our home and really thinking, you know, do we actually need this item? Um, you know, do I find it beautiful? Do I, do I love looking at it? For me, that's a really important thing. And, um, you know, or is it practical? Do I use it on a daily basis or on a weekly basis? Mm. And if I don't, then out it goes. What about with the kids? <laughs> because they would be bringing things in. Um, <laughs> how does that work for you? Actually, that's sort of the number one question I get asked um, on my, through my social media. It's, you know, how do you, you know, how do you deal with the chaos of kids? Yeah. So um, something that works really well is like putting all of their toys together or sorry, sorry, uh, separating them and then um, putting them away for six months or so and then bring them back out again and doing a bit of a switch around and then that, that way you don't have everything there you know and they yeah they don't get so bored of their toys easily as well when there's less there for them to play with they kind of you know it's, yeah. it's more exciting that's great yeah. advice i'd do that I, and i'd do exact that exact thing and then i'd forget where i'd put them <laughs> yeah and, and then i'd bring them out again and they're all like too old for them <laughs> decluttered for life so they went to the summies it was great <laughs> okay eleanor we've got like a minute left so i want you to give us the best three tips i know you put them all together and you like of them but what would yeah. be the best three? Um, I think a key to you know even having a really beautiful simple day like in your mind you know because you can so easily um, get stressed out and you start thinking about everything you've got to do during the day um, I think what really helps me to feel sort of calm and you know a little bit more simple is to really treasure little rituals throughout the day so you know just making a making a cup of tea and just really treasuring that moment and doing it slowly rather than rushing you know um, so even my kids as well like we have rituals that we have throughout the day every day and I think it just you kind of you start to notice the more little beautiful moments you know <laughs> I know exactly what you mean because recently I've started sitting out the back of my house with a cup of coffee yeah. just waiting for the tui or the bird to sing mm -hmm. and I'm really content after that. So is, that. is that a good example? Oh, absolutely. There yeah. you go. Exactly. Nice. Good I'm going to get some more out of your book, I, I think, now. I quite like this new way of living. Yeah. Well, thank you. Hey, Eleanor, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. It's a wonderful you. book. Um, yeah. And I made one of the smoothies out of it. It was very nice, too. Yeah. Uh, the Art of Simple oh. is available at all good bookshops right now and you can also order signed copies through her website.